All right, good evening, everyone. By now, you're probably saying, what the heck happened in November? Temps are cold again tonight. It feels more like February out there, and it looks like the cool temps are going to stick around this week. In fact, I'm tracking some snow and snow showers for portions of the area tomorrow as well. 30s for highs on Wednesday, 30s on Thursday. Normal high temperatures in the mid-40s will be well below that. Fridays are coldest day of the stretch. An Arctic cold front moves through on Thursday night. There's the chance for a snow shower there, but more importantly, the coldest day of the season so far moves in on Friday. Most towns will struggle to get out of the 20s, upper 20s to near 30 degrees. Speaking of cool, let's take a look at projected lows tonight. Most towns will be in the 20s at the coastline, widespread teens from many inland communities. Today's storm system has been rather well behaved. The storm tracking to our south, bringing uh, accumulating snow to portions of Connecticut, Rhode Island, parts of Massachusetts down in here. Now the storm is tracking too far to our south and east to bring us a big impact here in northern New England, but it still looks like we're going to see an inverted or Norland trough set up. Now, what the heck is a Norland trough? All it is is a wind shift line. It's a surface trough where the wing comes together and that allows the air to rise and produces a narrow band of snow. Now, these are extremely difficult to forecast because you never really know where they're going to set up and where they set up, they do produce that narrow band of snowfall. My best estimate for this one tomorrow will be along the mid coast. So, the storm is out into the ocean tomorrow. This is pro tomorrow's projected forecast and all we're tracking is this narrow band of snow along that wind shift line. It's a surface trough right there. The big question is, does it set up there? Does it set up here? Does it set up down in here? We'll just have to wait and uh, see tomorrow, but my best estimate is somewhere along the mid coast uh, during the day on Wednesday. I'll explain that here in Storm Tracker. This is one forecast model's projection or depiction and how this is going to play out. Here we are at seven o'clock in the morning tomorrow. Uh, the uh, well, Let's get out of here. Let's get back to this. There we go. Uh, 7 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. Sorry about that. Uh, notice some areas actually are starting with a little bit of sun tomorrow. Temps will start in the teens and 20s. But this is the feature I was telling you about right in here. We're starting to see some snow develop from Penobscot Bay into down east Maine. Even as areas like Rockland could see a little bit of snow early in the day. And that rain situated just offshore. It's just that narrow band of snow along that wind shift line situated right in there. As we go throughout the day, that band should shift just a little bit further off to the west. Uh, and be situated right in here. This is one forecast model's projection of how it's going to play out. So really just stay tuned to the forecast. It really could be anywhere. It could be somewhere down here. It could be somewhere up in here. Or it could stay entirely out in the ocean. Uh, but where it does set up, we're going to see a period of snow. Uh, and that could add up to a few inches in spots, especially from Rockland area, uh, Waldo County, Lincoln County, Knox County, even up into uh, Kennebec County, western areas. Back in New Hampshire is a decent chance you won't even see uh, a flake at all out of this one. In fact, portions of York County, there's a decent chance we won't see a flake at all out of this one at all, uh, as well on Wednesday. I do feel confident that we're going to see it move out tomorrow night. We clear things out. Thursday, 7 o'clock in the morning, we're starting the day with some sun. Notice temps starting in the 20s again. Uh, a few increasing late day clouds as that next front approaches, and that will be Thursday night into early Friday morning. Let's take a look at Snow Tracker projected snowfall totals. This is based on today's forecast, and again, this could change. Based on my experience with these things, forecasting these things, I can almost guarantee you we're going to be changing these numbers a little bit over the next 24 hours. Here we are at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning uh, on Thursday morning. This so snowfall totals through Thursday morning. Mid-coast region stands the best chance to see probably as much as 1 to 3 inches of snow out of this one with lighter amounts heading over toward uh, Casco Bay area, heading northern. Uh, Kennebec County and also down East Maine. I'm going to coating to maybe as much as an inch of snow and maybe a coating of snow as you head back into the mountains as well. So there's my forecast map right here. About one to three inches along the mid coast from Rockland over to perhaps uh, Bath, the Brunswick area. Uh, Demerscotta, Bristol, you're involved in this as well, heading north up into Waldo County and maybe as far north and west as the Augusta region. So stay tuned to the forecast. I'll have another update tonight at 11. Of course, Craig will have much more on this on daybreak tomorrow morning. That's the way things look tonight. I hope everyone has a nice night. I'll see you later.